Hi, so we are looking into the experiment which is known as stack ventilation. To perform this experiment, here are all the equipments that we will be requiring. Uh, from the kit, we have the tunnel assembly here. And as you can see, this is the uh, tunnel roof that we will be using. This is the tunnel base. This is the back side of the tunnel. This is the front side of the tunnel which is transparent here. And these two are the side walls of the tunnel, the sides of the tunnel. Then we also have uh, the pipe which will act as a chimney uh, on the tunnel. Then we have the hoop holder here. And here we also have the hole plug for the tunnel. Additionally, we require a few uh, equipments to, to be able to perform this experiment. The first is the tea light candle. This is a tea light candle here. This is a dhup which will be used to simulate the smoke. The tea light candle will be used to simulate the heat. So this is the, the dhup. Then we have a matchbox. And all this collectively we, uh, will help us in performing the experiment. The objective of this experiment is for uh, students to to understand how the whole stack flow concept works and by stack flow uh, specifically how the hot air rises inside the room uh, and it, it gets collected on the top and similarly if if they have this visual repre representation of this whole concept they can use it to design uh, houses where uh, they can enable this concept they can integrate this concept into the the structure which will then help the hot air to escape through natural ventilation uh, using stack flow. Uh, so this is the experiment. We'll look at the assembly of this experiment. As I said, this is the, the base. We will keep the base on the table. We will then take the back side of the tunnel and we will look to match these notches here in uh, these holes and we'll also make sure to uh, have the top part on top and bottom part on bottom so this base here is done and we'll take the side walls We'll take the other side walls we will take the top of the tunnel and So we are looking at the procedure of the experiment now. Once the tunnel assembly is done, what I will do is I will use the matchstick and I will take the loop, loop holder, I will light the loop.
I will keep it inside the tunnel and then I will light the tea light candle here. This is my smoke source and this is my heat source. Once I have done this, I will close this off so that inside we will, we can see the effect of heat and um, smoke both. And what I will also do is for now for the inside space to get heated up, I will have to close this. So for this, I just have something to close this hole off. So for now, I will just keep a book here so that this hole is closed. I will wait for this space to get heated and to get uh, completely smoked up. So here you can see in the tunnel, it is sufficiently smoked up and hot inside the tunnel. Now what I will do is, I will slowly remove this book here. And you can see as soon as I just remove this book, <coughs> this, this smoke, so the smoke that <coughs> simulate, sorry, one second, that simulates the heat, um, sorry, that simulates the airflow is, is escaping out of this, this opening here, because it was all collected on the top side uh, of the tunnel here, it is, it is coming out from here. Again, what I'll do is I'll use a chimney. <coughs> and here you can see inside the chimney, the hot air is, is rising top. It can get collected inside, but it is choosing to uh, to come out of this chimney because of this concept of stack ventilation and this phenomena of hot air rising up. Um, so we can we can use this concept of stack ventilation uh, and and the the hot air getting collected towards the top side of the room in our uh, architecture uh, to to integrate this uh, this the stack ventilation flow. Thank you.